Dímelo. ¿Y lo que? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today's video is going to be very different. Well, for me, it feels really different. So where I'm from, Dominican Republic, we call it, I think it's a dubi. Is it a dubi or a tubi? No, dubi. Let me see. This is what it looks like. Like this is Rihanna. I guess she did this kind of like look for what was it? Excuse this huge mess back here too because I'm flying out to see my parents in the Dominican Republic tomorrow and I'm in the middle of packing. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. I wrap it to go to sleep, I wrap it to shower, and I wrap it when I'm like around the house cleaning the house because I hate hair in my face. Bobby pins, get your wrap. Preferably get one that has holes in it because you're gonna slide off the bobby pins through the hat so that they don't leave the bobby pin mark markings. They can either look like this and then they can look like this. By the way, like if you're trying to look cute and sexy, like don't do this. So once you part your hair in the middle, you have two bunches. Take the first one and make sure there's no tangles in it. And what I do is I'll take, I'll brush it from the bottom and I'll hold it with my hand like this. Then I'll push all of this hair around. Now I'm gonna start brushing it like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just comb it over like that. I'm gonna get a bobby pin now and I'm gonna start putting in the bobby pins. I will usually count the bobby pins that I'm using so that I'm counting them as I'm sliding them out so I don't miss one. I'll just keep brushing the hair sideways and keep putting my bobby pins now like this and I'm gonna keep going at this point we're incorporating the other half of the hair so I'm gonna grab another bobby pin slide it up and now you're gonna wrap the red the other half of the hair around your head the same way just like this and then now I'll stick a bobby pin there Make sure the ends are nice and tight and you're holding onto them. Grab this right here. Okay, so then take your hat like this and I'm gonna take this and then just start from the bottom and I'm gonna bring it all the way in like that. See? You can do the same thing with this one, the same way. You would literally just grab this and go like this. If for whatever reason you couldn't, God, this looks so Dominican. If you don't find one of these doobie caps or whatever, you can use a do rag or something like that. The only thing with that is that you can't pull the bobby pins out, right? So once I wrap it and I know my hair is completely in there, right? I know it's all in there. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the bobby pins out of here, right? That's why I count them so I know how many I have to take out. And you can just slide it right through and then I don't feel any more. Then I'll take my finger I'm gonna put it under the cap. Make sure that all the hair is nice and tight in there. That's what I do, this is how I wrap it. I don't use a straightening iron. Once I do my hair and I take this out the next morning, it is as straight as can be, no heat needed. That's why I have her do it as soon as she's finished blow drying my hair because it's nice and hot and it sets the way I want it to set because she wraps it under the hat right away. The way she does it is a little bit different I think, I don't know, but tomorrow when I go to the salon, if I feel brave, I'll ask her to re let me record it, but I don't know, I feel shy about doing it because, you know, Spanish, Spanish people are a little judgmental. When I'm gonna take a shower, I'll get one of these Terry headbands, Terry cloth headbands. I think I got this like at Walmart or something, I don't remember. And I will always wrap it around the front of my head, specifically to shower because even if I wear a shower cap, right, let's say I wear a shower cap like this. Um, no matter what, it's still going to get wet. So I use this first, the headbands, and I'll wrap it just around the front of my hair like this. And then I'll do this. Sometimes I go really early to do my hair and then I have to spend the entire day with my head wrapped. Especially my first day, my hair is way too fluffy for me. I need to wrap it. And so I don't, I'm not confident enough to go in public like this. Like if I was in DR, maybe, but... In the United States, I'm not. I always bring a hat with me, like tomorrow. I'm doing my hair early in the morning before my flight, so I know I'm gonna have to wrap it until I leave at night. Depending on where I am, if it's like me running errands or more casual, I'll wear a baseball cap like this, so I'll wrap it like this, and then I'll get something that's like that, and I will tuck my hair under like this, 
and then I'll go on public this like this and it doesn't bother me and I don't mind then if I have a special occasion like I probably uploaded my vlog already I'm not sure but um, like my friends um, rehearsal dinner that we had uh, my hair was wrapped because her wedding was the next day and my hair was straightened and so I wore a different kind of hat because it was a little more dressy so I brought this brown hat and my hair was wrapped so all I did was I situated my hair under this hat like this once you wrap your hair like this and you sleep in it I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like you just literally slide this off and your hair is exactly how you left it like literally look no curls straight no problems and then I'll part it where I always part it and it just looks like that again so that is basically it that is how I wrap my hair in a Dominican dubi because it was kind of empty in there what you looking at what you looking at boy anyways guys I didn't end up blow drying it today I only did rollers and then I had to wrap it because excuse me excuse me so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video on how to wrap your hair in a Dominican dobe and until next time I'll talk to y'all later say bye Jet bye later bye.